to section 4.9 is about solving an inequality, which means we need to answer the question, yes or no, where is the parabola bigger or smaller than 0? So in this first example that you see here, x squared plus 10x plus 9 is less than 0. We need to try to solve this. So we are answering the question, where is this inequality less than 0? Where is it negative? We have two choices on how to solve these. We can either make a graph or we can solve algebraically. If you are solving algebraically, you're using a number line to help you. No matter which method we choose, what we want to try to do is factor to find x-intercepts. Those x-intercepts will be able to be used on both the number line and on a graph. So factoring is going to be the method of choice for this particular uh, how to solve the inequality. We're going to try this one, solve algebraically with the number line. We'll solve uh, the number line method first. The sample inequality again is x squared plus 10x plus 9. Where is that inequality less than 0? So as I mentioned, what we want to do is factor this. Two numbers that multiply to give you 9, add to give you 10, x plus 9, x plus 1. I'm going to take each one out separately and solve, and I get my two places, negative 9 and negative 1. I've noted these numbers already on my number line. This is negative 1, this is negative 9. And when I use the number line, what I want to do is create little curtains. So I've drawn, uh, drawn these in with little curtains here already in the red marks. So now what we want to do is um, number crunch. We want to try to decide where do I get true sentences looking at this particular number line. Now you notice this number line is now divided up into three sections. I've got this section way over here on the left, I've got a section in the middle, and I've got a section way over here on the right. I need to pick a number in each one of these sections and try to decide, do I get a true sentence according to this inequality? So let's start with picking our number way over here on the right. Now do you notice zero is in this section? Zero is always an easy number to try. That's what I'm going to use. Try zero. We need to plug that in. Zero squared, ten times zero, plus nine. Is zero plus zero plus nine less than zero? Is nine less than zero? My answer is no. Now I need to move into the middle section. I need to pick some number in between negative one and nine, negative nine. Pick anything in here that you want. Uh, let's, for instance, pick negative 3. I need to put negative 3 into my inequality and again see if I get a true sentence. Negative 3 squared plus 10 times negative 3 and then plus 9. Is that less than 0? 9 uh, minus 30 plus 9. Is that less than 0? Negative 21 plus 9, is that less than 0? And then what do we get? Negative 12. Is negative 12 less than 0? That answer is yes. And then we've got one more section. Way over here, I need to pick some number smaller than negative 9. Let's just try negative 10 and plug that in. Negative 10 squared plus 10 times negative 10 plus 9. Is that less than 0? 100. Uh, minus 100 plus 9, those cross each other out, is 9 less than 0? That answer again is no. Now I want you to notice something here. Do you notice that our words alternated? No, yes, no. This should always happen when you solve on a number line. They should always alternate. Yes, no, yes. No, yes, no. If you get two consecutive, like no, no, yes, then you did something wrong in there. They should always alternate. Let's go back to the original again. What is it that we're trying to solve? That's way up here. Where is this inequality less than zero? So in other words, where did I answer the word yes? That happened right in the middle. This is where I answered the word yes to this inequality, which means any number from here to here will be my solution set. I need to show that algebraically. Where did it start? Started at negative nine. And where does it stop? Negative 1. My answer is anything x in between there. So do you remember we've talked about this word betweenness? 
I have a solution in between negative 9 and negative 1, so I write that as a betweenness. I just have to make sure I get the correct symbol. My symbol is the less than symbol, not less than or equal to. It's the less than symbol. So anything in between negative 9 and negative 1 will be my solution when I look at the number line. All right, so now let's try using this exact same question. I'll go to the next page. Let's try this exact same question, but we're going to solve it on a graph. Starts off the same way with factoring. x plus 9, x plus 1. Where is this less than 0? We again, uh, again get our two solutions, negative 9 and negative 1. Here's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here's negative 9 right here. Now, this one, we're going to put a graph on here, but we can be very, very uh, rough with our sketch. Can you tell me, does this parabola face up or face down? If you look in the front with that plus sign, this parabola faces up, which means our vertex is way down here someplace, and it'll face up. Now what I want to look at is, where is my curve less than zero? So I want to show you something. If I draw a little um, kind of a curtain here, here's my dividing line. My x-axis divides my graph into two pieces. Positive is above the graph, negative is below the graph. What are we trying to figure out again? Where is this inequality less than zero? Less than zero means negative. Where did I say it's negative? Down here, underneath. So look at your curve. Where is our curve less than zero? From here to here. That's the only part that's negative. So I just need to be able to say, where did it start to be negative? Well, it started being negative at negative 9 follows the curve, and it stops being negative right here at negative 1. So I need to mathematically say, where did it start, where did it stop being negative? From negative 9 to negative 1, and it's anything in between there. And that's where we use our inequality symbols again. So it started at negative 9, stopped at negative 1, and it's anything in between there. Got the exact same answer as I did on this last slide except I was doing the number crunchy algebraic method instead. A lot of people will find this graphing method a lot easier. It's perfectly fine. Sometimes you get to pick whichever method you want. Other instances you'll need to um, show both methods. Let's do just one more example. We're going to solve the inequality. You can pick whatever method you want. So I want you to hit pause and then try to work this yourself. I'm going to do it as well, so when you're done, then you can turn it back on and see, what, uh, see if your method answer matches my method answer. All right, so I'm going to solve this one uh, graphing. I think graphing is easier, and the first thing I want to do is factor because I see I've got a 3 that I can take out of this whole thing. 3x squared minus 3x minus 4 is supposed to be greater than 0, so I'm, eventually I'm answering the question, where is this curve positive? So if I'm going to solve by graphing, I want to see where it's positive. Where is it above the x-axis? That's what I'm going to look for. I need to factor this guy a little farther into two pieces. x minus 4, x plus 1. Solve each piece. 4 and negative 1. Those are my two spots that I'm going to look at on my graph. 4, negative 1, gives me two pieces right here. Now if I just make a really rough sketch for myself, that's all I need. This is a positive parabola, which means it's going to start low and face up. So someplace down here is my vertex, and it's going to be working its way up. And I'm worried about where is this thing positive. So, if I uh, try something again here, where is this thing positive? Here's my dividing line. And it's positive 
up here, positive above the graph. The only pieces that I notice are positive are this and this. Well, where is that happening? It's positive everywhere from this number and backwards. Well, how do I show that? Everything less than that particular spot, which is negative 1. It's also positive from this position forwards, and this position was at 4, 4, and onwards. So I have two different pieces where this one um, is going to be positive. to help you.